Hello to all you Aquarians. Welcome for your monthly horoscope for Aquarius for uh, July 2016. Now, um, I'm going to talk about three things. I'm going to talk about Mars. I'm going to talk a little bit about Cancer, uh, some, some planets there. And last but not least, I save the best for last. Uh, a lot of energy in your relationship uh, house, which is the seventh house, which is the Leo house. So let's get started with Mars, with the most intense part. Um, Mars was in Scorpio for a long time. Uh, and now at the beginning of the month, it starts getting traction. It starts to go direct in Scorpio. And um, it's always interesting when you have planets that go retrograde to look at the point where it's standing still. And um, so Mars went backwards, you could say, or it seemed, it appeared to be going backwards from, from when you look at the Earth position. And um, then it's standing still at 23 degrees of Scorpio. And then it goes forwards again. That 23 degrees of Scorpio is very significant. And if you look which fixed star is there, it can give you an extra information of the flavor of the energy. And the fixed star that is there is called Agina or Agina. A-G-E-N-A. -E and this is what it represents. It presents honor as a speaker or a writer, great mental and physical powers, legal authority. It can give a love of arms, a love for strong passions, and also an energetic nature. It has the flavor of the Venus-Jupiter conjunction, and it gives position, French friendliness, friendship, refinement, morality, health, and honor. So, and this is all at the top of your chart happening. So this energy that I just talked about, which is a friend, which is a good energy, which is a strong, good energy, and especially with Mars going forwards now, it means that um, when it comes to work, when it comes to your social status, when it comes to how others are seeing you and perceiving you, when it comes to uh, authority figures, bosses, um, local authorities, whatever, things are going forwards now. So if you had a, a rough time last month with all these things, with all these items, um, now it goes forwards. So, um, and also added with that friendliness and refinement and, and strong having strong morals these days, you know, it's... Uh, uh, on a collective level, uh, really needed, isn't it? And um, by having good morals, that is. And for you, uh, it, it really shows that on a key area of your life, which is what you're all about, which is your, your life destiny, so to speak, because that's also your 10th house, you're going, or you have let go of something, or you're really, really powerfully, but friendly going forwards. So it depends on your uh, your uh, context and your individual chart. So let's say that you have been struggling with something that you really deep down inside knew that you had to let go. So probably a job or maybe an authority figure that you, you needed to let go of the control because that ultimately is also, uh, a lot of people think Scorpio is all about uh, battling and going forwards and about, yeah, putting your teeth into something. It is. But it also has another side. Sometimes you need to do the opposite, which is also Scorpio. You need to let go. And um, so I think for a lot of Aquarians, they have let go of maybe a job or maybe a boss um, uh, or maybe an authority figure that had been controlling you or that, that it's done now. You um, have gone through the pain, which is Scorpio, and dealt with it. Don't forget that this Mars trines Chiron. Chiron is the wounded healer. So this is all about going through the pain, which is Scorpio, and then having that release. So, um, so there's definitely release for some of you going on when it comes to work for others. So let's say your context is, I've been looking for a job for ages now, and this can be the turning point. This is the, the, the energy of, putting effort there, doing lots of lots of action, which is Mars, and now you're finding a new job. That could be the case as well. Or you're doing a new project. Um, and Mars trines uh, uh, Venus as well. During the first two weeks of the month, there is this energy of give and take. So you could have been working with someone um, when it comes to work as well. 
and, uh, and, and, and really having that balance, you know, that male female balance of give and take. Um, so that's, um, that's uh, really good as well. That Venus will be then in Cancer. So um, it's pretty, that, that is your uh, sixth house, also day to day work and health. So what else? A lot of cancer activity as well, the first two weeks, as I said, with the new moon on the 4th of July. And that is for you, it's the sixth house, it's your day-to-day -day work, it's your day-to-day -day routines, it's um, the things that you do on a daily basis, it's your pets, it's your health. And there is a new beginning there. So maybe because you have released something when it comes to work, maybe because you have put your teeth into something now and there is a new, you, you have that new job, for instance, now. Or um, uh, maybe, of course, don't forget, when planets go into Cancer, they always bump into Pluto and, and Uranus. So there can be a little bit of a friction there. Or, um, But I don't think it's too hard for you because you're not a cardinal sign. Unless you would have a moon or something in, in a ca cardinal sign like Cancer, Capricorn, um, Aries or Libra. But in general, it means that things go forwards when it comes to those areas, health, work, day-to-day uh, -day routines, administration, you know, I, I think a lot of aquas don't like that. Aqu I say aqua because I did, uh, I always say aqua to Aquarius, I don't know why. But anyways, um, so yeah, it, it can be that um, there is like a new beginning, maybe for, on a very basic level, it can mean that you find a new way for doing your administration and it's uh, really, really efficient. For the future so it could be as basic as that and last but not least the good news for last is uh, tremendous positive energy when it comes to your relationships so um, Leo is your opposite sign and Venus goes in there the Sun and Mercury but it's not only that it's also the the double trine aspects with um, Saturn and Uranus I made a separate video about that because this is quite Posit this is very positive and I, I um, wanted to point it out on a bit of a deeper level. So I put the link below of uh, the, the video I made about uh, Uranus trine um, Saturn. What is this all about? Let's say you um, are an Aquarian that had a bit of a rough time uh, when it comes to your relationship, your love relationship or a business relationship or a relationship one to one with a maybe with a with a colleague that was rough lately. Now there is like, you you can smooth things out with Venus there. And especially trining with Saturn and Uranus means Saturn is stability. It means the relationship is stable, but at the same time, the relationship is fresh. And don't we all want that? I mean, especially in long-term relationships, it, it's, uh, it's not only that people want long-term relationships, they also want it to be exciting. And this is exactly what's happening with, uh, with you, with uh, relationships are and stable and exciting. So this is good news. If you are single and you want a new relationship, this, is, this could be the moment that you meet someone. So especially the last two weeks of the, uh, of the month, because and if you are going into a new relationship, it will have those ingredients of stability, but also excitement. So go for it, you Aquarians. Um, it can also be a business partner that, um, uh, probably a woman because it's Venus, that is really helping you out and uh, it's very stable and at the same time extremely exciting. So, um, so very good news for Aquarians. Very good news on, on a, especially on the social level. So, um, having said that, I wish you all the best, you dear Aquarians. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on watching, keep on sharing, and um, see you next month. Bye-bye.